Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us here to Portland, Oregon, home of scenic beauty like the landmark Cathedral Park here in Portland and nonstop traffic from across the nation. But you know, cars are also very important to building our nation's bridges and infrastructure. Bridges like the landmark St. John's Bridge that you see behind me, thanks to the sustainability efforts that are underway here. Let's take a look. Worldwide, roughly 90 million vehicles are produced each year with nearly 2,000 pounds of steel and other valuable metals required to make each one. So where do all of these cars go at their end of life? Today, the majority of them can find a new life as part of our nation's essential infrastructure, thanks to recycling. Recycling is part of our core values in these states. Uh, certainly metal recycling is important because it has a lower environmental impact. I think it uses 75% less energy to recycle steel rather than pulling it out of the ground. I think 60% of, of the metal that we use in this country is recycled and that's been the case for about 50 years. So it, it's important to our way of life and to our long-term future. This is possible thanks to recycling companies like Schnitzer Steel that close the loop on the metals used to make the cars, trucks, and buses we use every day. We're one of the largest metal recyclers in North America. We were founded in 1906, so we're 116 years old. And what most people don't understand is the, number one, the importance of steel to everything that we do, to the houses we live in, the bridges we walk on, the cars we drive in, the computers we work on. They don't understand that steel and metal, generally, that metals are an important component of all of those things. So we see value where other people see waste. And the only way that you are able to make that transformation is by being innovative. To understand how Schnitzer achieved its position, I decided to follow their recycling process of an everyday passenger vehicle starting from the time it's dropped off at one of Schnitzer's 50 pick-and-pull auto parts recovery stores. This one is located along the Willamette River in northwest Portland. The customer might have a car that's worn out, worn down, they're looking to get rid of that thing and they want a sustainable solution for that vehicle. It might have some useful life left in the park. So at pick-and-pull, we'll purchase that vehicle from the customer will follow a strict set of guidelines and depollution processes, ultimately allowing customers to pull parts off. That's kind of where the term pick and pull comes from, right? They're gonna pick the car they want and pull the parts they need. And once a car is totally picked clean of all parts that a customer wants, the next step is it's ready to be filleted like a fish so it can be crushed like a pancake. The crushed vehicles are then loaded and transported to a metal recycling facility for processing. Next stop, the shredder. Here the crushed vehicle bodies are fed into a powerful metal shredder, which breaks a car down into baseball-sized pieces in roughly 30 seconds. The facility then uses advanced technologies to separate and process the metal pieces into mountains of ferrous metals like steel and non-ferrous metals like aluminum and copper. What's the environmental beauty of this? Well, it's it's our treasure. It may be other people's junk, but it, you know, there's cars, hot water heaters, refrigerators that have been drained properly in this pile, and there's a thousand tons here. It'll go through the shredder, it'll turn into new steel, and it, we're keeping it out of the landfill, and we do that every day. That end-of-life journey continues for the ferrous metals at Schnitzer's Cascade Steel Rolling Mill in McMinnville, Oregon about an hour south of Portland, where recycled metal is turned back into sustainable steel. In our mill, 
our operations run at, at a high of 2800 um, Fahrenheit and so it's it's a very hot process you're melting molten metals and our finished product is roughly about 500 um, thousand tons of metals finished products per year um, which is wire rebar and merchant rods which is utilized in essential infrastructures such as highways and bridges just like oregon's newburgh dundee bypass bridge that you see above me it's one example of schnitzer's recycled rebar in action and when you consider the massive infrastructure going on in our country right now with over 600,000 bridges in the usa alone there's a lot to do we introduced a new product called Green Steel, GRN Steel, which is our first net zero carbon emission steel product that we're very excited about. So what I want people to understand is the critical nature of metals to a low carbon future. I want people to understand that recycling metal is very important to a sustainable future. And that what we do, we, we, I often say that Schnitzer has been about sustainability before sustainability was a word. Whether it's in the shape of a cathedral like St. John's Bridge or something else, metal is a finite resource. Luckily, the metal we find in cars, vans, and even electric vehicles can be used again and again to make the bridges and infrastructure that we use every day.